Okay, looks like we are recording. Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? It is the godfather of VR, the ageless wonder, the man, Lincoln Clay, coming back at you with an amazing trailer. This is the announcement for Half-Life Alex, uh, the fully fleshed out VR game that will be coming uh, to Steam VR. March 20th, not March 20th, March of 2020. Now, <clears throat> so looking at this trailer, this looks nothing short of amazing. This is absolutely incredible. Um, I've watched this trailer over and over again, and um, And this trailer that I'm playing right here, this is in 720p. I was only able to download this in 720p if I wanted to, to download it at a higher resolution. I would have to pay for, you know, a membership or whatever, subscription or whatever. But this looks amazing. Um, I almost don't even know where to start. There's so many things I want to say about this. Uh, excuse me. But starting with graphics, this game right here could um, not loan Echo off the shelf, off the throne, as far as uh, um, the best looking VR game that I've ever seen, because this is just unreal. I mean, the graphics on this game is on par with um, flat screen graphics that that you see in this generation uh for the most part uh a flat screen triple a game the graphics on one of those is miles ahead of the average vr game you know a lot of vr games still have you know last gen uh even ps2 looking graphics and I think the only uh, game out there, VR game out there right now, that even comes close to having uh, the graphics of a AAA flat screen current gen game would be uh, would be Lone Echo. And uh, I think maybe uh, you know we'll we'll have to see what this looks like, you know, through the VR headset. But if it looks like this through the VR headset, then this game could very well, again, knock Lone Echo off the shelf as far as the best looking game that I've, uh, VR game that I've ever seen. <clears throat> and this game moves me closer to what I wanted to see happen with, uh, with VR. Because I want photorealism and this game looks like it can bring me one step closer to that happening. Um, you know, see, I'm wondering if this game, if this game would be a, a, a headset seller. Because you'll be able to play this game on um, Valve Index, uh, Oculus. And I think Windows, uh, Windows Mixed Reality, I think you'll be able to play it on those headsets. Um, and then with the recent unveiling of the Oculus Link beta and the, the, the opinions that I've been seeing on the Oculus Link beta, a lot of people are, um, you know, saying that this is probably a little bit better than a CV1 Oculus Rift headset, but not quite as good as the Rift S in terms of visuals. So I'm wondering if a game like this would be enough to make uh, people go out and buy a VR headset, you know, uh, especially in an Oculus Quest, and because they would have that mobile, P, uh, that mobile VR headset, and it would also... Um, allow you to plug into the PC, you know, because the, um, the Oculus Quest does have a resolution of a 1600. So that would, 
that would be interesting. interesting. You know, yeah. um, so, so I'm definitely wondering, wondering if this could sell some headsets. headsets. Um, what I would really think would be uh, a system seller for this game is if they were to allow this game to come to the PlayStation VR format. Like the current PlayStation VR, there's no way it'd be able to handle a game like this. But when the PS5 comes out, um, maybe that would have enough power to push a game like this in VR. And if, um, you know, when the PS5 comes out, if they were to let this game to come to the PlayStation VR format, I think that would be a system seller as well. So, um, probably won't happen, but it's still just for the growth of VR, you know, overall, it would still be nice if it did happen. So, um... I just, I just cannot quit looking at this. Not only are the graphics incredible on this game, um, the color is rich. You know, a lot of, a lot of VR games, even ones that have decent graphics, the colors are not rich. A lot of them have these washed-out-looking colors. You know, instead of a, a deep, rich red, you might see like a faded, a faded, washed-out-looking red that if it was any lighter, it would almost look, you know, pink. So, but these colors here look rich. And this is just, um, this is incredible. Um, you know, flying by the seat of my pants, talking about this, because I just can't quit looking at this, like, at this trailer. I'm just simply amazed. Uh, I think, I think another thing that I can say about this is, a game like this, um, I, I think it takes VR to the next level. You know, this is supposed to be, from what I'm understanding, it's supposed to be a fully fleshed out game built from the ground up for VR. And this isn't going to be like a four or five hour tech demo. I'm hearing this is going to be a full blown game. You know, I don't know if it'll have as many hours as, say, Asgard's Wrath, but it would certainly be nice if it had like more than 10 hours. You know, that's to me, that was the downfall of Lone Echo. Amazing looking game, a good game, but I think it was only like um, six between like, I think it was like maybe six hours of gameplay. And now I think I got like 90% through it. And I, and I never, never went, went back, back and, and finished, finished it because, because I snuck off and seen the video. video. Like, I got, I got stuck. stuck. So, so I checked out a video. And I ended up getting, getting so wrapped, wrapped up into the video, video I just watched the ending of it. Of it. So, but, 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 but yeah, yeah um, um, I would I like to think, think this game is going to be well over six hours. hours. You know, you, you, you know. I don't, I don't think you can make a game like, like this and only make it four or five hours because that's, that's like basically tech, tech demo, demo stuff, stuff for it to only be that, that many hours. hours. Uh, what, uh, else, what else um, would, I would I like, like to say, to say about, about this? this. Um, um, this, this a, game a game like, like this, this makes, makes me feel, feel like if... if Go, going, going back, going to, back what to what I was, I was wanting, wanting my, my overall goal, goal to be with, with VR, VR, I wanted, I wanted VR, VR to go mainstream, mainstream so, so we can, can get games, games like, like this from, from the big, big you know, you know, AAA, AAA publishers, publishers uh, from, from the, the EAs, EAs, from the Activisions, Activisions from the from 2Ks. 2Ks. And, and I figured, I figured in, order in order for that, that to happen, happen VR, VR needed to go, go mainstream. You know, VR, VR needed to look like a gold mine, mine in order to get, get those, those kind of publishers on board with VR. VR. This, this game, game right here makes, makes me feel like, like no, no, you know, like, like EA, we don't, we don't need, need them. them. If they don't want to get on board with VR, so what? We don't need them. Not with games like this coming out. Um... What a what game, game like Madden, Madden fully, fully playable, playable in VR. VR. Uh, but I want something like that. Absolutely. Even though I'm not a big fan of uh, Madden, but I would definitely, 
I would definitely put a lot of hours into it if we got it uh, fully playable in VR. Same thing with um, NBA 2K, but if, if they don't get on board, so what? You know, the... Um, I'm, I'm optimistic, optimistic that, that next, next generation, generation, as far as, far as like the like PS5, PS5 goes, goes I'm, I'm optimistic, optimistic that, that if, if they, they can, can do it, it we, we might, might maybe, maybe we could, we could possibly get the, get the one sports, sports title, title fully playable in VR that I would, would love, love, and that, and that would be MLB, MLB The Show. The show. Um, um, if, if Sony, Sony were, were to be able to do something, something like that, you know, because... I believe, I believe this, this is, is um, um, Santa, Santa Monica, Monica Studios. Studios. What's it? No, no, San Diego, Diego Studios, Studios that did uh, 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 MLB, MLB The Show. show. And, they and they were asked before if that game, game would ever come, come to VR, VR and they said they, they were exploring all options. options. So, so I'm, I'm led, led to believe that if next, next generation, generation when they get this high-powered PS5, if if the PS5 can do it, I would like to think that they'll give us a VR mode for MLB, MLB the, the show. show. But, but other, other than, than that, that, if, if nobody, nobody else wants, wants to get on board with VR, VR I, don't I don't care. care. Because, because not, not, not that, that we're going to get, get, if we get, get stuff, stuff like, like this. this. You know, you we, know just, we just we just got, got Asgard's, Asgard's Wrath that, that looks, looks amazing. amazing. Not on this level, level but, but looks, looks amazing. amazing. Um, We've got Stormland, which looks pretty doggone good, even though I haven't played it yet. Eventually, I'll get to it. Uh, based, based on the on trailers, trailers, it looks, it looks like, like uh, Aspire, Aspire 1 looks, looks like it's a, a, a decent-looking decent game in terms of the graphics, graphics and, and uh, as, as well as, as Panther, Panther VR. VR. And, and so this, so this game, game, you know, uh, uh, this, this game, game right here comes out in March of 2020, 2020 which, which actually, actually, I think, I think, I think, I think the, the timing of that is actually, actually depending, depending on when they do it, I think it's pretty good because... Don't, Don't forget, forget that we're getting, getting Iron Man, Man VR, VR on February, February 28th, 28th of 2020. 2020. So, you know, you know this, this could, depending on, on what the exact date, date is, this game, game could come out mere days, days after, after Iron Man, Man VR. VR. So, 2020, 2020 those, those are three, three the, the, the three, three big games that are on my radar for 2020, 2020 VR-wise, VR is uh, uh, this game right here. Half Life Alex, Alex uh, Iron, Iron Man, Man VR, VR, and Lone Echo, Echo 2, which, 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 was, which, was, which was originally supposed, supposed to come out this year, year I believe, but it's obviously going to come, come out sometime next year. year. I'd like to think, think so. so. Those, those, three, three, those are three heavy hitters that I'm looking for next year. No, I'm uh, really excited about them. Still just sitting here amazed by this game. You know, you know, this, this game, game current gen, gen, like, like the, the flat, flat screen, screen games, games uh, this, uh, this generation, generation uh, a, a lot, lot of the games, games this generation look good. Even, Even the games, games that are trash, you know, you know they, they still, still look, look good, good because, because of the, 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 um, the capabilities of the current the hardware, hardware, you know, of the, the Xbox, Xbox One X and the, and the PlayStation, PlayStation Pro. Pro. So, if you were to show me this trailer... And, and not told, told me it was VR, VR I thought it would have, I would have assumed, assumed that it was a flat screen game because it looks that good. good. Um, um, and with, with that, that part of it, I would have been, been like, hey, it looks good, good but, but I'm not going to lie. lie. I, I would have said, say, hey, hey, damn, this looks good, good but, but I, I would have been like, wow, this is next level stuff. But being that this is VR, yes, that is impressive. That is amazing. Because I believe I believe PCs have to, have to work, work harder, harder to run, run VR, VR games, games and, flat and flat screen games. games. So, so, so being, being that this is a VR, VR title looking, looking like this, this, I can't, can't say it say enough, enough of how incredible, incredible this game, this game looks. looks. And, and I'm trying, I'm trying to, think to think what else. else what else was I going to say? Because I know I'm flying off the I'm flying off the top of my head off of this game because I can't keep my eyes off that trailer. Oh, oh, you know, you know, you know what, what I was going to say. See this trailer? trailer? 
You know what this trailer, you know what it feels like for me to see this? Is when um, Horizon Zero Dawn came out because remember the PlayStation Pro had a head start on the Xbox One X. And I bought my PlayStation Pro. Uh, I, I bought it day two, if you want to put it that way. Um, the day it released... Well, actually, no, I, actually, I did buy it day one because um, I was working third shift at the time. So uh, when I got out of work that morning, I headed straight to Meijer and, um, and bought a PlayStation Pro. And it came with a copy of Ratchet and Clank. So, so that, that was, was the, the first, first game, game that I had, had ever seen in 4K. 4K. Um, um, and, and it looked like, 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 a, like a Disney, Disney Pixar, Pixar movie. movie. Did it, it look so good? good. I, was I was definitely blown, blown away when I seen that. that. But, but um, um, Horizon, Horizon Zero, Zero Dawn, Dawn when, when I finally got, got a chance to look at that, you know, because Ratchet & Clank did the support HDR, even though it got the Pro Patch. But Horizon Zero Dawn did support HDR, so... Uh, when, uh, when I saw, I saw Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn, Dawn I, was I was like, man, man this, this right, right here, here it, 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 it raises, raises the bar. The bar. Now, like, like, you know, you know um, it's, it's going to take, take a pretty, pretty impressive, impressive game, game to, to be in the general, general ballpark of Horizon Zero, Zero Dawn, Dawn because, because of how amazing that game looked. Look. And, and that's, that's how, how I feel looking at this game right here. This uh, uh, this, this VR, VR game right here, here this, this could be the this could be the game that, that, that raises the bar for VR. For VR. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm so, so glad, glad that these games, games are already, already for the most, most part, part we already have them. them. You know, the, VR the VR landscape, landscape you, know, you know, there's still, still mostly uh, indie, indie games, games there, there, but. but um, um, but to get, we're starting, we're starting to get, to get more and more of these high budget triple A games, fleshed, fully fleshed out, out built from the ground up for VR. VR. And that's, and that's uh, definitely what I wanted to see. To see. Um, because two, two years, years ago, ago, I would have thought, thought that, that the only, only way, way we would have would been, been able to get a game, game like this in VR, VR um, is only as if the big triple A publishers get on board. Like, like the, the EAs, EAs and Activision or something. something. I, thought I thought that, that would be the only way that we would get a game that looks this good in VR. In VR. But, but um, because, because of what, what, what Oculus, Oculus is doing, is like, like, like uh, high, you, you know, know, I think Sony's, Sony's going to continue to put out high quality uh, VR, VR exclusives. exclusives. Um, I, think I think Oculus, Oculus even, even though people, people were a little bit concerned, concerned you know, because Oculus, Oculus is concerned, concerned their, focus their focus is mostly on the quest. quest. I think I people were a little bit concerned that um, we were going to get, get, you know, watered, watered down, down games, games moving, moving forward. forward. But, but I think, I think Oculus, Oculus is still focused, focused on um, high quality games, games because, because we, just we just got Stormland from them. And we're getting Medal of Honor sometime next year. So, so I think, I think that's, that's another, another uh, high quality, quality VR game. game. So, so with with, uh, with people, people like, like Oculus, Oculus and, and you know you, know, you can throw, throw Valve, Valve in here. here. Um, I think I their think Boneworks, Boneworks game. game. I, think I think that's, that's coming, coming out, out next, next month. month. Um, so so in, in, in entities, entities like, like Oculus, Oculus, Valve, Sony with their exclusives, we're going to continue to get. High quality, quality AAA, AAA type, type games for VR, for VR. And, and I think, I think it'll, it'll be the right, right mixture. mixture. I, think I think it'll be a perfect mixture because I think uh, we'll, we'll get, get enough triple A titles in VR, VR that's gonna um, that's gonna, gonna curb my appetite, appetite for these high, high quality, quality games, games but um, not, not so, so much, much to the to point, point where. Now, now everybody, everybody and their and mother, mother wants to jump, jump on VR because, because when, when, when VR, VR reaches that point, point if it does, does reach that point, point where everybody sees it as a gold mine and everybody wants to jump on board uh, uh, VR, that's, that's when, when entities like Activision, Activision and EA are gonna, gonna bring, bring their, their microtransactions over to VR. VR. So, um, so, so I mean, before, I was prepared to accept that trade-off that if and when uh, 
publishers like EA and Activision get on board with VR, I was prepared to accept that they're going to bring their microtransactions with them. But this game right here makes me feel like, hey, you know, we don't need them. You know, um, you know, if, if um, EA and Activision wants to stay over there on flat screen and keep their microtransactions over there, that would be just fine with me. Uh, this is... This, this is, is amazing, amazing. And, um, and and looking at this trailer, trailer I just feel like this is just going to take uh, uh, VR, VR to the, to the next, next level. level. This, this is this is, I can tell, I can tell this, this is going to be one of those games. games. When, when I, first I first put that headset, headset on, on, I'm going to be, be so, so busy, busy looking, looking around, around at the environment. environment. You, know, you know, before I really get into the game, just like I did with Lone Echo, I was so blown away being inside that space station. Good, good color, color super, super sharp, sharp picture, picture and, 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 and I really, I really felt, felt like, like I was inside a space, space station playing Lone, Lone Echo. Echo. Um, but, but, you know, a game like Lone, Lone Echo only is going to appeal, gonna appeal to, to sci-fi sci people. people. Uh, I, think I think this, this game, game is going, going to appeal to way more people than the type of people that would have been interested in Lone Echo. So, nothing short of amazing. So, so I think that's I think that's, uh, I think that's, that's all, all I got. I mean, I mean before, before I sat, sat down, down to make, make this video, video um, I, had I had a lot, lot of, of I had a lot, lot of stuff, stuff that was, was on, on my mind that, that I wanted to say about this game. game. But, but uh, once I started this video, video I, got I got the deer, deer with the headlights, headlights just, just sitting there looking at this. You know, um, I don't know. I think I think even my son would probably uh, be interested in this game because I know he plays uh, Gary's Mod, and I guess Gary's Mod has got some Half-Life elements in it, which I don't really know, but... Matter of fact, I think this game is already up for uh, pre-order on Steam uh, for $60. You know, you games, know games that look, that look like this, this, I don't have a problem paying sixty dollars. You know, you know uh, a, a lot, lot of a lot of VR, VR games that cost, cost like forty dollars. Um, those, those are the are kind of games that, that you know have to be a little bit cautious because, because um. um if, if I, I haven't, haven't seen, seen the game, game yet, yet, it raises, raises questions, questions like, like, okay, does this, does this game have good graphics? graphics? How, How many, many hours, hours of play is this game? Um, is, is it worth $40? $40? You know, um, a lot of VR games, I think they're, I think they're priced accordingly. I think they're usually worth what the asking price is, but every now and then you'll run into a game um, that might be overpriced. Every now, Every now and then you'll run into some hidden gems. Games, games that, um, like, like Pavlov, Pavlov, for instance, that game's only ten dollars, and it's like, like to me, Pavlov, Pavlov should be easily a thirty or forty dollar game, game, especially um, with, with people being able, able to add mods, mods to it. To it. So, but yeah, but yeah this this, um, um, this game, game right, right here, here I, I just I'm, I'm taking, taking the leap, leap, leap of faith. faith. I, believe I believe this game is going to be worth the. Um, sixty dollars. I guess I'll also to uh, uh, throw, throw that, that in there in before I get ready, ready to go. To go. I've, I've never, never played, played a Half Life, Life game. game. I don't, I don't even, even know, know if Half Life has, has ever been, been on a console or not because, because um, you know, I've heard, heard of the Half Life games, games before, before, but I've, I've never, never played, played them, them. Um, um, and I never knew what format they were on. I never knew whether or not they were on PC or on console, but um. To, to me, me looking, looking at this, at this game, game the, 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 it, feels it feels like that. that for me personally, it feels, feels like that moment when I saw the God, God of War trailer. trailer. I, had I had never played, played a God, God of War, War game, game before. before. But, but when, when they, they showed, showed that trailer, trailer and showed the combat, combat system, system and showing Kratos, Kratos throwing that axe and being able to recall the axe. Right, right there, there I, was I was sold. I was, I was like, like, you know, you know I've, I've never, never played, played a God, God of War, War game, game before, before and, and 
I said, I said, but, but I'm, I'm playing, playing this, this one, one. And, that's and that's how I feel about, about this uh, Half-Life, Half-Life right here. I've, I've never played, played a Half-Life, Half-Life game, game before, before. But, but I know I'm going to play this one. one. Um, the, only the only thing, thing is, is, I hope it's not a situation, situation where, where I have, have to play the previous Half-Life, Half-Life games in order to, to uh, in order to get caught up with the story. I hope it's not a situation like that. I hope this is a game where I can just I can just dive right in. So, so let me let, let, let this play. play uh, uh, let me let this trailer, trailer play out one last time before, before I get ready to hang it up. up. And you just, just this laundry, laundry room looks, looks so real. real. Right, right there, the, the physics, physics in this, in this game, game, being able, able to slide that slide that, slide that bucket, bucket out, out of the way. way. Um, um, that, that right there, that, that scene right there looks like something right out of Metro. Because that game looked amazing. Even that, that power, power box, box looked look real. real. The details. details. You know, it's too bad. bad. And then right here, the physics right right there. there. Sliding Sliding all that that junk out of the way to get to those bullets bullets in the back of that that show. show. Uh, Uh, That's that's pretty pretty impressive, impressive too. too. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's, too, it's too bad, bad I couldn't have done a live reaction to this game. game. Um, you know, I, I knew I knew, I knew that they were supposed to do a full reveal on this game today, today but, but I didn't I know they were going to show, show a trailer. trailer. I, thought I thought it was just going to be, be, you know, somebody, somebody getting up on the stage and, and, and making make an, an announcement for the game, and that was going to be it. I didn't know we were going to get this reveal trailer. And so when I came home... And I finally got a chance chance to take take a look look at it. it. I said, holy crap. crap. So, So, you got to watch watch my language language now because of the upcoming upcoming, uh, YouTube YouTube Terms terms of Service. service. Oh, Oh, so so before before I get ready ready to go, go, I will mention mention those two things. things. Um, As a lot of you know, YouTube is changing its Terms of Service. December 10th. And... It's, it's going, going to, to force, force me, to me to have to make, to make some difficult, difficult decisions, decisions as far as uh, what, what I'm, I'm going to do moving forward, forward on YouTube. YouTube. So, so I'll, I'll make, make, a make a video this weekend, weekend and, and let everybody know what my plans, plans are. And also, also uh, uh, I am I planning, planning on doing a live from Wakanda, Wakanda on tape delay. Um, I, think I think I made I enough post on Twitter on yeah, yeah, on, on Twitter, Twitter this past week, week that I think that there'll, 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 there'll be enough material, material there for me to, for me to uh, cover the past week in gaming and VR and, and, and that kind of stuff. Because um, a, um, a lot of times I don't, don't want to, you, know, you know, do live from Wakanda unless, unless I can, can you know, do, do like at least a half hour show. So I think I got enough content there that I can do at least a half an hour show. So plan on me doing live from Wakanda on tape delay and keep an eye out for... My video, my video um, addressing, addressing YouTube's, YouTube's uh, changing, changing service. service. So, uh, with that, that being said, said, I'm gonna get ready to boogie, boogie on out of here. here. And uh, wow. wow, what a what trailer! trailer. What, what a trailer! trailer. So that's well, gonna that's do it for me, me folks. folks. Uh, uh, thanks, thanks for watching. watching like, comment, comment, share, all that all good stuff, and. I will catch catch you guys guys later. later. Deuces. Deuces.